So this is the start of a video on coming to the Pueblo, to the Tienda, or the store. In this case, it's a grocery store. It's a Saturday morning, and one of my favorite times to come because everybody's out on the street for the weekend and going to the store, going to the torterias, to get some tortillas. Uh, the children are all out and having fun. The kids are all amazed by my ATV. I'm the only person in town with a four-wheeler. And, uh, and as I've mentioned before, I'm the only white person for about 30 kilometers in every direction. Uh, these two little children right here at the door of the store. Three now. I'm probably the only white person they've ever seen in their life. And certainly the only person they've heard speaking English. So I'm, I'm a little bit the uh, item of curiosity here. We're going to go inside the store. Now, this is a small store like uh, 20 square meters, 200 square meters, I mean 200 square feet. And the tiendas and the pueblos just have the basics. And every uh, neighborhood has its own tienda because they're going to be within about four or five blocks of wherever you live. So if I go on down the street here about three or four more blocks, there'll be another tienda. And then another one. I think this little pueblo of 3,000 people has about uh, 12 tiendas in it. Um, the most expensive commodity for the Maya people in the pueblo is electricity. It's very expensive. So we're going to be fortunate in the store if there's more than one light on. The video may be hard to see but maybe the camera will adjust itself to the dark when we get in. But it's just, it is what it is. Uh, you need to know where stuff is and go get it. Um, it's just the basic stuff. Potatoes, one kind of potato, one kind of tomato, one kind of onion. Eggs, you just tell them how many you want and that's how many you get. Uh, milk is in the carton, cold drinks, and so on. But it's not exactly like what you'd call a supermarket. To go to the supermarket, I'd have to go about 40 kilometers away to Oshkukab, and there would be a larger, what, or what you might call a grocery supermarket. But uh, for me, I usually go to the big supermarket about once every six or eight weeks, and then every week I go to the Pueblo. And in the Pueblo, stuff is going to cost about 10% more than it would at the supermarket. And that's the price you pay for the convenience. Because most of the people in the Pueblo do not have a car. Uh, some of them have motorcycles. But uh, most people walk. Or if they, if they had to go to Merida, which very few of them do, they would take the... the uh, public bus. So here we are, we're going to go in and do our grocery shopping. Also, they charge for plastic bags here. Uh, this store does. Some stores just won't even give them to you. So I bring my own bags.
bring my own container to get my eggs in so that they can hopefully arrive home, arrive home without breaking. And now we go through the store. Buenos dias. Uh, ocho Waves. Ocho. Ocho. I'll be darned. They have, maybe it's because it's Saturday morning, but they actually have uh, five or six lights on here. So maybe you'll get to see something better. Beans. Got beans. Fruit cocktail. Corn. This is the way canned corn comes. Oh, I'm sorry. These are not. These are mushrooms. There's a corn. Elote. Paper goods. Styrofoam cups. Toilet paper. As I have mentioned a moment ago, I get most of my stuff at the big supermarket. Like sausage or bacon and then I fill in the small stuff from the end of the week that I run out of. I'm not sure why but chips and snacks are a really big deal here. They have so many different kinds of chips. Incredible. Which I'm not interested in them. All I want is a little bag of ruffles to have with my sandwich or something. But snacks and sweeties. Shelf after shelf after shelf of sweet snacks. Oreos, cookies. Uh, these are little cookies I like. Wafers. This treat. Bread. I usually try and keep a loaf in the freezer and a loaf in the refrigerator. The cleaning kind of stuff is back there on the back wall, which I'm in good shape on all that. Don't need anything. Um, I do need some uh, tomatoes. These were picked probably yesterday from somebody's garden. One kind of tomato baby stuff which I don't need of course here's the cereal aisle right here that is the choices of cereal condiments not many nothing I need um, ramen noodles very popular here because they're cheap, but I have plenty. Here's the bulk, bulk items. If you want bulk, I'm in good shape on all that. More cleaning stuff. Oh, I do need some pancake mix. $33.50, $1.50. A small size for 23. 350 grams. 250 grams. 500 grams. For about 50 percent more. So we'll get the big, big one. Where is this? This is the way the eggs typically come, just in a bag, which is why I bring my own corrugated container. You can also get cooking oil in a little bag. 
five pesos, about a quarter. Where is this? Uh, Virginia? Virginia? Hama? Hava? Virginia. Uh, Mediano Kilo. Uh -huh. I'm ordering a half a kilogram of Virginia ham sliced. Kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds, so I'm getting about a pound. See? There she is slicing the big piece open. And she'll take it back there to the slicer. And I'll show her how thick I want mine. See, bueno. And then here you've got milk, which is sold room temperature. Some juices over in the corner, you've got yogurt. More sweeties, more sweeties and croissants, yogurt, ice cream. Ice cream is not really popular here. People love it, but they don't buy so much of it because it tends to melt before you get home. And uh, colas, which I've already gotten my colas to take home. Big cola here. Cinco. Cinco. I'm telling you, I got five of these colas. So I can go ahead and take them outside. And put in the basket. This is my pillow that I brought for extra cushion for the eggs. No. Este, no. I get the one more thing. Sí. Cuatro. Dos. Uno. Tres. Single colors. Single. Single.
Ja, das ist Okay. Well, I just bought a little small cola to drink on the way back, and she thinks I've already paid for it, and I haven't. So, dilemma. Next time I will. Usually when I come, I get my drinks and carry them out to the cart, tell her what I have. So next time I'll just tell her I got one more than I really got. The moral dilemmas of life in the Pueblo. So there we are. That's my Saturday morning shopping trip. My old lady friend across the corner there, they're selling peeled oranges. Always waves at me, nice friendly wave. So now we're gonna hope that these eggs here, see the eggs, we're gonna hope that we get home with those all eight in one piece.